Alright guys, so we're going to be unboxing a few things here. Um, today we're going to be unboxing a tactical backpack, which should be in this one. And then up here, there should be a knife and patches for the backpack. Um, so basically this is just going to be like the start of my channel here. And uh, this is kind of be the type of thing that I'm going to be doing. Stuff with like tactical outdoors, lifestyle, that kind of stuff. Uh, a lot of fishing videos, uh, guns, whatever. So this is going to be used as a range bag and primarily as my fishing bag. So I'll be showing you how I set up my fishing bag and all that kind of stuff. Once we get into it here, we'll go shopping, buy some stuff, fill up the bag, get it looking nice and uh, have different things for different uses. Let's start with the small one here. Let's get this out of the frame. It is a nice table setup. This is going to be my table setup for videos like these. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just cut this bad boy open here. Where to? I want to try to be careful. I don't want to show my information here. All right. So it looks like this is just the knife in here. All right, so throw that on the side. So this is the knife, right? Just a simple box, Smith & Wesson m and I'm a big fan. Um, I have a m and uh, AR-15. Um, overall, they're a good company. This knife is Smith & Wesson as well. I like their products. They're pretty cheap too. This this knife was like on sale for 20 bucks. Normally 30. I just wanted one that will pop right in the backpack and look good. Let's get all the packaging out the side. See there's just nothing else in here. It's just a straight knife, which is always nice with like tactical companies and stuff. You don't get all that extra extra packaging. Go ahead. Slide this out. First impression is that it's got some weight to it, which is nice because we don't want like a super super light knife. Um, we got a little caution sticker here. Let's just make sure that that doesn't, doesn't use with appropriate eye protection. People use eye protection with knives. Nope. All right, so we got just in a nice little holster sleeve here. Um, it feels really like, like I said, it feels quality. If you can hear that, it's pretty hard. Um, the back has just got like a basic little buckle here, which is actually pretty like sturdy and thick. So I can either keep that on my side if I'm out fishing, uh, front belt loop this way, sideways like that. Um, or what I'm gonna do is it has these holes and this clip and I'm gonna clip it in and then paracord it probably into the backpack somewhere, either like on a strap or on the side or something just so it's there. So I have it in case I need it. So there's the blade, it's a fixed blade. So it's not gonna be a, uh, like this one where it's, folding and small where I carry it everywhere. This is a much bigger knife compared to compared to the one that I have. I think this one's three inches or so, maybe like two and a half, whereas this one I think is three or four inches. Yeah, it's probably somewhere around four inch blade. Um, but yeah, it's nice because you can just keep it right in the little holster. It clicks in, you hear it? So it locks in and it's not coming out. It's not just gonna fly out, which is really, really nice. Overall, the construction and the quality of this is just really nice, it looks really good. Very presentable as you see. I think you can see. I hope the lighting's all right and you can see it. Let me put it over the backdrop. Um, yeah, so let's throw all this trash to the side. Put the knife to the side and bring on the big box. All righty, so far, trash out of here all right so far the bag looks a little bit more green than i was hoping i was hoping for more of a tan i think in the camera it looks a little bit more tan uh, let me get the bag off so it can stop reflecting so i saw some comments on the amazon post saying that this bag was a little bit um not as tan as it shows in the picture and now that i'm looking at it it definitely um is a lot more tan than i was expecting or I mean it's a lot more greenish kind of. I don't think you can really see it in the in the camera too well. But, uh, let's just go through it real quick and uh, show you what it's got going on. So these buckles are just clicking like crazy. Hold on, let me clip them together so they stop. All right, boom, we're all clipped up now. All right, so we got the main backpack here. So you guys can see it. Overall height of it is, I mean, it's not, people were saying it was tiny. It's definitely not tiny. I'll definitely be able to fit at least like a medium sized little box up here in this, in this piece of the pouch. And then here. Yeah, so anyways, let's get into like the actual 
like first impressions of this so overall buckle quality it's pretty solid um it's definitely a i would say around like a quality of like a walmart backpack maybe a little bit better quality they have a pretty solid click to them they're not that bad and then going from there let's pop those open and look at this first pouch the zippers because you know zippers are usually the first thing to go on these kinds of things stitching looks good not like cheap or anything it just looks like a normal stitching um, insides of the pockets decent little smooth material a little bit of meshy kind of going on in there and then it has actually got I didn't know if it had this but it has an inner pocket here that's sewn in so that's pretty sweet um, go ahead and zip that back up and then obviously right here on the front we got a nice velcro patch i'll put that up closer so you guys can hopefully see it it's a it's a rubbery patch so i don't know if i'm going to keep that on here or if i'm going to switch it out with one of the other ones which i'll show you in a second uh, and then we're going to open up here and then it's got a medium sized pouch and then a big pouch so let's go into the medium sized pouch and just see overall the medium sized pouch <clears throat> obviously this has a lot of room to be broken in one of the bad things about when you get first get a backpack is you saw how it was packaged, so it's all squished up and everything. Um, but this is a nice medium-sized pack. Inside of here, you've got a... Uh, probably can't even hear me over all this noise. Um, inside of here, you've got another pouch with like a mesh pouch. Um, so that could be used for some tackle or whatever you want. Which like I was saying with this front pouch, I can put probably like a small to a medium-sized little tackle box in here for just quick on-the-go baits like uh, spinners or whatever else I want to put in there and then we have the main pocket which is actually really cool because um, I didn't even notice this when I bought it but the zipper goes all the way to the bottom so you can actually completely open this so here's a thing that they have inside it says like uh, Rebo tactical or whatever their brand is there's a little card and says like follow us with a little Q code. So let's check it out here. We got a little zipper inside, which appears to be broken. All right, well, there we go. I think I fixed it. So it's got a half pouch at the top here. So this only goes to here at the seam. Um, so it's a half pouch right there, which is still fine, obviously, if I want to throw anything in there. It's got this kind of strap in case I need to strap anything in, or I think if you want to put a laptop in here kind of thing, you can do that. Overall, the quality is pretty good on the inside. Stitching looks decent. Um, it's also got an inner pouch here on the inside of the, the, the top flap where all the other pouches are. It has another one, so you can put more stuff in there. Pretty good for storage, like I said. And uh, I'm going to put some big tackle, like boxes in here and this is gonna be like my fishing bag slash range bag and then one of the other things that's really nice about these tactical bags is that you get these uh these little uh sewn on like strap kind of things so these are gonna be really useful for me because you can either get extra pouches which i might get some and put some on the side just for if i'm hiking or whatever and uh and hook stuff up on there um like i might get like a medical like first aid kit just in case like if i hook myself or if we're hiking and something happens you know god forbid uh, i'll have stuff on hand i also have like uh like medical grade scissors which i use for like cutting braid so i'll probably like put a carabiner clip them and then stick them through the side here so they don't like flop around and they're just hanging there so yeah you can do all that kind of stuff Let's flip it over here and check out the other side again we got more buckles as you know tactical and velcro and buckles are their thing so go ahead and open these it's got a nice thick waist strap as you can see it's probably about two inches or so the padding on the shoulders it's got the perforated like breathable material here uh, which feels pretty good actually, uh, surprisingly. Handle at the top again, like double over, pretty quality I suppose. Um, seems decent for what it is I guess. Like This is like I said, it's a first impression so it, I won't really know until I go ahead and start loading this up and actually using it. Uh, which should be here in the next few weeks when I start fishing, opening day and stuff. So. Thick Velcro here, which is really, really good. It's like really strong actually, Velcro. So if you don't know what this is for, this little pouch right here is for a bladder. Um, so when I'm hiking, I can throw a bladder in here, run the wire, the tube up and out, and uh, and have like water supply right there. First impressions of the bag are that it's pretty good. Last thing is the patches that we got. And so any of these things that you see in this video, um, you can get all three of these, this knife, um, this backpack, and these on uh, Amazon. They are affiliate links down in the description. So if you want to go ahead and uh, check any of these out and get any of these, then you can go ahead and do so and uh, grab them for your own bag or your own a, uh, or your own whatever, you know, if you want to put them on hats or anything else, um, you can grab these patches, you can grab this bag, and you can grab the knife. 
on Amazon and it would definitely help me out I'd definitely appreciate it we got this patch which is the one that came with it it's like a rubbery um, like a kind of like a car magnet kind of thing I'd see I guess it's like a thick rubber decently thick um, and then I got velcro patches so the first one here is just you can see it it's just an American flag one thing about these are that they are green stitching with tan stitching which actually kind of works with this bag because it's a little bit on the greenish side and then I got this one with it the Punisher skull you can see it Again, same kind of color scheme. And then we got the Don't Tread On Me, which is just a, again, a smaller badge, or a smaller patch. And then this one, which says something. I don't know what it's, I don't know how to say it, but it's, uh, it means something about something. And then this one, In God We, oh, In God We Trust. And then this one, which says, Civis Pesum Parabellum, if that's how you say it. It's probably not correct. But I think this one means if you want peace, prepare for war. I like that saying a lot. Um, so I'll probably put that one and like don't tread on me on here. And then these other two. Um, one thing to say about these is that they do come with the back Velcro. So it's not just not just like the grabby side so I can put them on this bag. It's It also comes with the other side which I'm assuming looks like it's like an iron on but maybe you have to stitch it on. But it comes with it so you can stitch it on to whatever and then patch and put it on. So let's say we're gonna do American flag, Punisher skull, and then two of the other ones. So again, we have to pull all these off because I got the pre-Velcro, don't tread on me. And then uh, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna set up the camera. I'm gonna change the camera angle and then I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stand up and put it on and see how it looks on. All right, so we're gonna grab the bag here. Just throw it on and then I'll adjust it and see if we can get it to look pretty decent. So we get the bottom straps here down at the bottom. Obviously you can pull those down to make it tighter. Probably keep it somewhere uh, somewhere around there. We want it to be decently tight on my back. And then we'll go ahead and adjust this clip. Which is just the simple uh, they're just simple pull clips. I'm extremely skinny if you guys can't see. So that's uh, being a small guy, it makes this uh, require a little bit more uh, more tightness it'll be a little bit more taut um, see if we can get this these tabs again Put a little bit tighter on the back here that fits pretty good right there like I think I could run in this and you know what I mean it's it's staying put pretty well because of this only thing that I think I could do is maybe add some sort of like straps down here or something to keep this um, to keep this like Keep us like there. Overall, it fits pretty well. Um, here's the back view. Side view. See, it's uh, it's it's pretty short right now. Obviously, once I start filling it up with things, it's going to expand. But uh, but overall, it's uh, it's there. It's pretty good. Um, it feels really good actually. Um, I don't know if I'll be wearing this belt one. Maybe the chest one just for extra support so it doesn't like pull me back. But maybe if I'm if I'm hiking, I'll probably wear this one, or I don't know if I, I want to bring it on a run or something. I don't know. Then I'll probably have that one done. But but otherwise, I'll probably just wear it like this. Maybe even without this clip. But yeah, maybe with that clip, it keeps it a little bit more tight on my back. But um, yeah, overall, looks pretty good. I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. I'll try and answer. Any questions about the bag or about uh, anything, I guess. So just go ahead and leave those questions down below. Uh, if you have any comments, any concerns. Uh, if you enjoyed the video or you got any helpful information, make sure you click that like button to support me. And of course, subscribe to stay to do future videos. I'm um, we'll be pumping out a bunch of content, tactical stuff, reviews, um, fit, a lot of fishing videos, maybe a lot of fishing stuff, uh, stuff like that. So uh, yeah, make sure you do that and uh, stay up to date. And like I said, all these links are going to be in the description for all three of these different products. So if you want to go grab them or check them out, make sure you click that link. Uh, they are affiliate links, like I said, so it will definitely help me out, and uh, I really appreciate it. So uh, that's about all I have to say. Uh, adios.